I have just before you joined in indicated that the minister spoke to me that he will not be joining this meeting. However, he has delegated you to deal with the matters because the investigations are going on at another level, but even the report, uh, the, the investigations will touch him. So rather we do not get it legally, he has been advised not to join this meeting. Hence the members have actually seemed to have accepted that all of them are saying, let us now get the DG to then take us through the report. Just to start, um, uh, uh, when, I, when I started in the department last year, uh, and the Auditor General um, uh, presented their report to us towards uh, the end of the year last year, there were a number of um, uh, issues that were raised by the AG. And um, one of those issues was uh, the digital vibes matter, where they wanted the, uh, the, uh, the accounting officer to do further investigations of the, uh, on the matter. So we then appointed a number of forensic firms uh, to do some investigations, uh, one, uh, this one, and the other matters. We then uh, received the reports from the different uh, forensic firms, um, uh, 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 including uh, the forensic firm that did work on the digital vibes matter. But um, at the time uh, that, um, uh, whilst that investigation was taking place, um, uh, the matter of digital vibes then uh, became a matter of um, a media scrutiny. Uh, what then happened is that then the, the uh, special investigating unit um, then uh, uh, also uh, 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 took interest in the matter in terms of investigating specifically that matter, uh, which had, or we had already started investigating. Then on the 23rd of February, uh, when this uh, came up, uh, I was contacted by the special investigating unit uh, on the matter. And I did inform them in writing that uh, we are already uh, advanced with the investigations on the matter. They said, no, no, they will continue to do the investigation uh, as per the proclamation, uh, which was done by the president. They then requested that I link them up with the forensic firm that is doing this investigation so that they, they can cooperate uh, to avoid duplication. We then received the final report. Uh, well, well, the final draft report, uh, the draft report, uh, and then the final report uh, from our own forensic firm as the clients that uh, we had appointed. Then that report, uh, because now they had been working together, I then handed that report over to the special investigating unit. Uh, I've been in contact with uh, the SIU, and they've told me that uh, they will be uh, actually, uh, they are still working on that report because it's part now of their own investigation. Hence, uh, I will we can treat that report uh, as, a, a, as a final report. So where we are now, uh, the report is not yet final until the SIU finalizes the other aspects uh, uh, in terms of, of the report. But I must say that, as mentioned by the minister publicly, the report does actually confirm that um, the awarding of the contract was regular, but there are still some other pieces then to be finalized and then we'll be able to, uh, to implement fully the recommendations not on a piecemeal uh, basis uh, as we move forward. Then on the second matter uh, is that, um, now that now that the matter has been formally reported to the, AP, uh, to the SAPS, I've also been guided by the, um, uh, our, our attorneys of the department that uh, I should refrain, refrain from any commenting uh, uh, on the report. Uh, besides that the report uh, is with the SIU, it is only then when we've been given the green light by the SIU that we can start moving ahead in terms of internal disciplinary processes and the other issues that are there. And while I accept the DG's explanation that uh, the forensic report has in now forms part of the SIU report, but there are other issues around the, 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 the details around the awarding of this contract. And I'm more interested, Dr. Butelezi, around particularly what were some of the um, flags that the Auditor General raised with the department? Because if I'm to understand correctly, that is something very different from the investigation, the internal investigation that was sanctioned by you. And the notion that somehow laying off the charges in Cape Town yesterday is now uh, uh, creating a limitation for the DG to account to this committee is absolutely not true. Because ultimately, there's I really wish the members would, would acquaint themselves with the sub rule because the sub rule is no reason 
for people not to account to the committee. And so a matter that's been reported to the police, as has been reported to the SIU, is not sub judicate. It's not before a court of law. The, the definition is very clear. The case is under investigation. And if it's under investigation, anything you say can implicate you because it's under investigation. My view now will be, let's give the special investigation unit uh, the opportunity to carry on with the investigation and, and wait for the outcome. Firstly, you know, the, the right to remain silent is for accused persons during a criminal trial or proceedings. There currently isn't anything as such, except for the investigation by the SIU. Minister Zolim Kize is unable to fulfill his constitutional obligations to account to this portfolio committee. He's unable to do media interviews. He's unable to even engage his constituency. And in effect, has also affected us, the rest of us, who are not involved in corruption scandals, who didn't pay people millions of rest, take pictures of us in doing our jobs. Now we can do, we can do our jobs as a portfolio committee of health. Why then should we continue with this meeting if the Minister of Health and the DG can't do their job and we also can't do our job because they can do their job? This country and all of us cannot be held at ransom by criminal dealings of ministers and executive members who can't even fulfill their obligations and be available. We have and we are mandated by the constitution and we have an obligation to not protect people from being able to account to this committee. And today's meeting underscored exactly what was pointed out in the Zondo Commission, that parliament has been complicit in state capture. And this morning, we also, we also did that in the sense that none of us were able, we weren't able to sing in unison to be able to say, these are the things that we are demanding from the department. We were here jostling and fighting political wars when in fact we should have been singing from the same song sheet. So it's extremely disappointing that we're repeating the same mistakes of the fifth parliament in this very meeting on these very issues and the country will judge us harshly. Chairperson, thank you.